County Manager's Report, Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I would like to let you all know that our mowing crews that are now in-house are in full swing. So Ms. Cumbus has got them going. Um, they recently mowed on the north end. So anyone driving that area, Robin, do you want to share with them a couple of areas that they have mowed? It looks fantastic. We are actually divided into two crews on the north and the south. Um, we have a route system, if y'all would like us to, to share that with you, so you would at least know the direction you're traveling. Um, but so far, we've only heard positive things feedback. The leaders being removed before we vote. Most importantly. They were going to pick the road today. They look good. Okay, good. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Robin. Um, <clears throat> next, we have received a request from a citizen um, to hold an abortion rights protest in our parking lot on Saturday from 10 until 1. That request has been uh, referred to Sheriff Falk and remains in his office. Um, the second round of ARPA funding, uh, there were some documents that needed to be signed by the chairman and in by finance department and Ms. Black completed that at the end of last week so we have not um, received deposit yet but the second round the 11.2 million and some change um, seems to be on its way so we'll let you all know whenever that gets here um, and the highlight of this evening is an update on our park area on the ground of property I'd like to ask Ms. Rachel Thrasher to come up um, Rachel took this project on I think the first week that she was here um, she gathered our final information, um, kind of what we envision the space to be, um, still very multifunctional, still very open, and she has worked um, with the architect to put together a rendering, and we will be sending that out for bid, but before we do, it looks so fantastic and we're so excited. We would like to share, share it with you before we get there. So, Aaron. <laughs> Sheriff, if he had some office space to provide the coroner 
and he did. So there, the coroner's office is going to temporarily go into the sheriff's office, and we're going to be able to tear down the old house that's closer to the Lee Street side on Webster so that that parking will go across. If you notice in this rendering, that, that, that house was not there. So it's it's dilapidated. It, it needs to go. It's got some issues. So that will be torn down as a part of the project. Um, and then where you saw the white border fence that will um, – that will buffer those homes that are still on, on the property that, that face the Lee Street side. Um, there will be AV equipment, things like that there, so that the, you may have noticed before the movies that would be on the historic courthouse square. It's a little hard to do that because of light infiltration and the noise. So there will be power that goes in there. So if we wanted to bring in some entertainment or we wanted to do a movie there, um, there's room to set that there and be able to have all the connections and plug that in um, for, the, for that flexibility. Right. So I hope you all are as excited as we are. Oh yeah. Ready to get it done? That's it. Um, commissioners, we do have one citizen.